right for the installation of Wireshark let's first of all download it going to wireshark.org Wireshark is by Riverbed though it's an open standard now click on download and then you see this is the 64-bit version you check your operating system if it is 64-bit you may click this and download it uh, the Windows version or the Linux version that you like to have Mac or the Windows so I have already downloaded one I'm not going to download you just click this and get it done that's it let's go to the downloaded file now. so where it is here it is so I just double click this file which we have got and downloaded say next next now wireshark plus t sharp which is for the command line uh, digging up the information using command line which you'll be seeing later and some plugins and some documentations yes almost all we need let's say next this is the look this is the location where the icon will be placed and uh, these are the extensions that the the file is going to support the speak app is what you know very important the widely used default file extension for this Wireshark files and this is the location where the Wireshark is going to be installed and it says do you want to install yes NPK app is also needed uh, USB PK app uh, to support uh, USB to capture the traffic that is coming via a USB which is not necessary let's install now uh, yep we want this uh, install and pick up capable means you know compatible with the win Windows that's it so this is going to finish the installation of Wireshark let's see whether we are able to capture some packet now Let me check whether the installation is seen now. Do I have a Wireshark here? Yep, Wireshark is there and PCAP is there in the control panel. Here we go. This is the Ethernet NIC card through which the traffic enters and then NPCAP is going to take a snapshot of it send it to this Wireshark tool where I can see analyze the traffic that is entering and leaving wonderful it works that brings us to the end of installation of Wireshark